Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Suburban Stone Age. Oh, there it was. They just breached it. Hold on. BRB. Okay, we're back. So, <laughs> what we have here are the chicks going outside for the first time in probably their entire lives. So that's a big step. I spent some time this morning rigging together out of gates and panels I've had in the yard for a long, long time from various projects. I lashed them together using baling twine from the straw bales we have for gardening. And it went up pretty fast and pretty easy. And so I wanted to spend the day outside in the garden and hanging out with my chicks and getting them used to being outside and sort of getting their systems ready to be outside as well. Now I'm going to be using this playpen probably daily now for the next several weeks as they grow and boy are they growing fast. That's a great sign. But Whenever I do things like this over the years, I've learned that the very first thing they're going to do is find a way to get out, as you just saw. So I'm going to sit here and observe. I think what I already need to do is reinforce this paneling. I had thought they were big enough to not fit through this panel. I was wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and get some uh, half or quarter inch hardware cloth and just put a um, perimeter so that they can't squeeze through and then watch for the next jailbreak. But this is where we are right now. We're just uh, hanging out and thought we'd bring you along with us. Okay, here we go. Here's the update. So I was able to um, use hog rings to attach that quarter inch hardware cloth in an apron along the bottom. So that should keep them from squeezing out. And it should buy me plenty of time. Um, now, the thing with chickens is, in, an, in a situation like this, this is temporary. Okay, they'll outgrow it quickly. Um, it is not suitable for real predator protection. Um, this is a day solution when I'm out there to mind them, but I will not be leaving them out at night. A raccoon or a, an opossum would just be able to defeat this in no time flat. But what it does is, for the time being, while they're being supervised, it just keeps them from squeezing out any big obvious noisy day predators from squeezing in. And that includes neighborhood dogs that people are walking and also that may get loose. These chickens are out here in the front yard and usually they're in the back, but our own dogs are a very real danger. And under the circumstances, it's just easier to keep them in the front yard. And they are out of the wind. They have somewhere to go to relax if they, you know, want some privacy. So I put their little shelter out here. It's not plugged in and I will move it in to their IBC brooder at night, but it's, you know, somewhere for there to go, them to go and rest, and then they have food and water. So, uh, I'm actually pretty tired. I'm going to take a break right now. Pacing yourself is important when you are doing labor like this, and so thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want more updates on keeping baby chickens and how we do it. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and please leave a comment if you have questions. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.